Uh, look at this, November 11th, 1911, rather ironic, but uh, here's what happened. We had, we're talking about fronts today, right? Well, we had a nice warm air mass ahead of a cold front, and on that date, November 11th of 1911, the actual high for the day hitting 83 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, but by midnight that night, all the way down to 17 degrees, and how about this one? More impressively, in a one-hour period, over in Independence, Kansas, not too far out of Kansas City, the temperature behind this front, which was at 83, behind that wicked cold front, dropping down to 33 in one hour's time, 50 degrees in one hour. Well, crazy time of the year then and now. This time of the year, thunderstorms are often associated with fronts. This year, those storms have already caused many deaths and millions in damage. Dave Schwartz takes a closer look at thunderstorms. Did you know an average of 45,000 thunderstorms occur each day? They can happen anywhere at any time. When air at the surface of the Earth rises, it cools, so moisture condenses to form clouds. This is the cumulus stage. At this point, the storm consists entirely of updrafts. If there is a strong wind aloft, like a jet stream above the cloud, air is pushed off the top, allowing warm, moist air to be drawn in at the lower levels. This adds energy to the storm. Next, the water droplets and ice crystals that make up the cloud become too heavy for the updraft to support, so they fall. As they drop, they pull air downward, creating downdrafts. The final result, a mature thunderstorm, one that produces thunder, lightning, and in extreme cases, tornadoes. Dave Schwartz, The Weather Channel. As we well know, April is a very transitional month in which you start relatively chilly, then warm up quite a bit as you get into the early part of May. Take a look at our planting calendar here for you again. You may want to hold off on any kind of planting until about May 1st if you're up there in Iowa and Illinois. But safe to say you should be in pretty good shape now in the areas in the blue and the red. Now where the green and the red meet from there southbound, on average, we've already had our last freeze, but still waited out till about the middle of the month in the areas in the green. Let's take a look at what that means now. By the 10th of April, you should be relatively safe around Little Rock and Dallas and in the uh, southern Atlanta suburbs. By the 20th, things get relatively mild up in parts of Missouri as well, part of the Ohio Valley area. But as you get northbound, you have to wait until the end of the month if you're up around, say, Baltimore or Washington, D.C. Now today, a major cold front coming on across the Midwest as well as down the front range of the Rockies. Amazingly, yesterday temperatures were in the 70s in Pueblo, Colorado. Today, Pueblo is in the 20s. Denver had been in the 70s two days ago, now 32, a couple of inches of snow on the ground. And indeed, that cold air making some headway south and east, so that 70 in Little Rock will be a memory by tomorrow. Look at these changes, pretty remarkable. From Chicago, down through Wichita, down into the Oklahoma City area, back in Amarillo, temperature is falling 20 to 50 degrees below where you sat this time yesterday, but still very mild back east. But again, that cold air is gonna win the battle as it tracks on east later on in the week. And for tonight, some very cold air looming ahead. So it looks like teens getting down behind our low in the parts of Kansas and Nebraska. 20 is getting down into parts of North Texas, even the Dallas area getting down into the low 30s. So a very cold air mass coming up tomorrow morning on April 6th.